Today we're talking about myths, and then one of the biggest oh, myths oh, oh. out there, I can't believe this, the hymen is a myth. Do you know that I've been in this business for over 40 years? And you didn't even know it. And I'm, con I'm constantly, continuously learning something new about female sexuality. That's why it's so, I love it so much. Oh, what an area we picked. I, said, I told my mom about this research. It comes from the uh, Swedish Association for Sexuality and Education. Which is a very good outfit. I love them. I'm starting to read all their position papers. That's a good idea for all of us. Yeah. And what, what I can't get over is what a big deal they've made out of the hymen. And women <laughs> come to me and they say, um, I don't know if I still have a hymen. Can you see it? <laughs> and, and I'm going, uh, well... Uh, Remember when Princess Diana married Prince Charles, they said they checked for her hymen? You can't see it. It's not a continuous membrane. It's this little mucus tissue, little folds of tissue, two to th one to two centimeters inside the vagina. Just teeny, teeny little space inside. And that what I loved is then I started thinking, well, how do women get their hymens repaired before they get married again? Or whatever they go through. Well, they must just... There's no continuous membrane. It's not a big sheet that a penis can no, poke through. There's one. no such thing. In the article, they said it's like stitching butter together. Yes. The, the surgeons were saying how hard it was to do. And that by the time they leave the office, the stitches have fallen out usually. It's just a mental thing. <sighs> so here's, here's just another trap that we've fallen for. Oh, I've lost my virginity. No, it hurt the first time you had intercourse because he didn't know what he was doing. And you weren't aroused. You didn't know what you were doing. There wasn't enough foreplay. It's vaginal tearing. And it's, I know the story my mother told it. She sent my father home after the first time they tried to have sex. She said, it hurt, Betty Ann, and I just wasn't going to put up with that. I, I sent mom. him. I sent him home to talk to his own mother. Yeah, have your mom figure this out for you. <laughs> so I think she <laughs> yeah. must have said... Now, Frank, you have to go a lot slower and take your time. You know, Bessie wasn't ready. Touch her a little, kiss her, play with her nipples, get her around. No, no, forget nipples. Clit, 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 <laughs> and more clit. I mean, the guys are so focused on nipples. I could You're whack, right. whack, whack, whack. The clit is the number one nipple. It is the number one sex organ. They say that fewer than half of women bleed during their first intercourse. And when I, I was sharing this research with my mom, I didn't. Bleed, and then the guy I was with said, oh, you're not a virgin. And I said, yes, I am. He was like, you were grinding into it, and you didn't bleed. <laughs> and that was his evidence that I wasn't a virgin, and I was. And when I was talking to my mom, she said, Carlin, I never bled, and I always thought there was something wrong with me. How many women have suffered through this myth, thinking, oh, he'll know. And, and, and the, and the, article, the article made it very clear. There is no way you can tell whether or not no. a woman has been penetrated with a finger or a penis or a dildo, you cannot tell. It is not, you cannot tell. Any more than you can tell that a penis has been inserted in something. Same thing. You can't tell. You look at a dick and you say, oh, well, he's had sex before. <laughs> look at those chafing marks. Mm. Now, what I have told my clients when they say, do you see my hymen or have you ever seen one? Is that I'll say, well, I can see these like look like little hymenal tags, is what I used to call it. It's mucus tissue. It's like little folds of this little clear tissue that can be around the edges that they think is left over from fetal development. They don't even know why it's there, but there's no hymen. There's and it's different <laughs> in every woman. Sometimes it's just a circle. Sometimes it's like little folds. Sometimes it's like little. And I keep getting that image of stitching butter together. I know. Is that something? So these hymen kits, oh, all the Muslims, all the Muslim women are oh, using. Please. It's a whole waste of time. It's kind of the myth of the prince, the myth of the hymen. The myth, yeah. <laughs> like, the myth of it all. I mean, female sexuality is based on a series of myths, and we're going to undo all of them. One by one. <laughs> so stay tuned. Stay strong, sisters.